Bum -ba -da -bum. Hello everybody, Dirk here. Welcome once again to the dungeon. It's been a while since I made a video. But I've been a busy boy. Well, you know, school's finished for now, so it's summer break, so I'm just working now, so that's nice. But I do have to study. Start studying sometime soon for the finals. But uh, I figured I'd not do it. Uh, wait one month and then I'm going to start doing it, so... Might see me less often, might not have a whole lot of videos out, you know, up until the fall. My amplifier's on. That was very not nice of you to do. Um, yes, yeah, so I'll have finals in the fall, so yeah, it'll probably be a lack of videos, quite possibly, up until, you know, the end of, of fall, uh, November is when the finals are, so yeah. So, you know, lack of videos. Anyway. Enough rambling on about that. Who cares, right? We all want to see this. The polyphon the five 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 polyphonic keyboard. Um Right. This could be a whole lot easier to do from what I've been reading online. Um instead of using thirty two oscillators for all thirty two keys, you can just use a single oscillator and you have to feed it through, you know, a network of different gates. You know, the different gate chips, um, hex inverter or something like that. I'm not quite sure if it would be a, like a single input or a double or a four input. That had to be something I had to research later. There's many different ways to do a polyphonic, uh, polyphonic keyboard, um, whether it's analog or digital. Uh, digital, probably a lot easier, but I'm not a digital guy, really. I'm, I can I can figure out the analog stuff better. I know how it works, and I don't have to diddle around in the fucking computer and program shit, if it came to that. It's not really my thing. <clears throat> I'm more of an analog guy. I can figure that kind of stuff out. 555s are relatively easy to work with. Well, pff, relatively. They're easy as hell to work with. Um, kind of depends on what you're wanting to do. My case... I wanted um, 32 individual tones, um, so I built up 32 individual uh, oscillator circuits, and they're they're all the same, a stable mode, um, with you know each with the key being uh, in between uh, seven and uh, positive rail, and inside here is a you know um, a positive bus rail basically, and then each of the keys comes into this header strip. Which goes into these this you know network of, of transistors. Each key gets its own transistor. And I will note if you do plan on doing something like this um, or some other type of polyphonic keyboard, use trim pots. You know trim pots. Trim pots are your friend. Don't use fixed resistors. It's a fucking nightmare. It's a headache. Uh, if you put on a different type of, of power input, uh, I'm running 12 or 8 right now. If you were to use 12, it might change the tones, and then that means you have to change all the resistors again. So get trim pots. That way you can tune everything nicely, because uh, these aren't all tuned correctly. <clears throat> Quite, you know, they're, they're out. Each, you know, some of the notes are good, some of the other ones not so good. Because um, that's, that's the best I could do. Uh, without using trim pots. Some of these are trim pots that I just have, but luckily happen to have uh, in my junk pile over there. Right. Um, so yeah, keys going into here, um, which goes through the resistor, white wire over to pin seven. And then, yeah, this yellow, this yellow wire here is from the positive bus rail. Uh, outputs are coming through their own network. So, uh, you get a 10, 10 microfarad capacitor, and I uh, believe what Sparky was saying, he told me uh, recommended a, um, a resistor in series. It doesn't matter if it's, B, if it's before or after, uh, between 1 and uh, 10K. And that kind of acts as a mixer, because uh, it's going to come out on to, onto its, all, uh, its own um, you know, positive signal bus rail, basically, right here, which feeds out to the... Uh, amplifier and you do need to amplify this it's it's quite quiet without it um you know i recommend you know you could do like a, a class a or class b or whatever suits your fancy um i'm gonna probably end up building an lm3 to 6 is their fucking easiest pie and i can fiddle the fuck around with it uh maybe give it a boost based uh boost a base boost 
can't talk. And yeah, there's a whole lot of other stuff. Um, I'll probably do an update video because I have a block uh, diagram upstairs of various uh, filters, uh, LFOs, uh, let's see here, control voltage, oscillators. Yeah, that'll be a, a C CBO control voltage. Yeah, CBO. All kinds of stuff. You know, because you know, I'm just a baseboard here. I got to build it all up still, add all the dials and stuff like that when the other things get get put in there. Maybe a sequencer later. All that good stuff. Uh, but yeah, this is basically just you know how this is working, and it, it, it you know it works. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't sound great. That sounds kind of good. And it is polyphonic. That was like five, five or six keys right there. You know, I mean, it, it can, it does, it can sound good. I like these, the higher notes a little bit better. I'm not a pianist. I can't just like play something for you guys. Um, I built this, uh, it was a 50 50. I wanted to build it just to see if I could do it. It was an experiment, and it is possible. It's a lot of hard work. You know, as I said before, there's probably easier ways to do it, but you can build a polygon keyboard this way. And uh, if you're interested, I'll do the how to and how I did it. Um, you will need a, the way I did it, I used a frequency counter. So uh, you can either do that or you can probably do it with an oscilloscope, um, analog or digital. Um, yeah, you can see it right down there. And then I did a printout of keys. Um, but yeah, I don't want to make this video too long, so if you do want a how-to video, I'll be more than happy to do a how-to video. It's dead simple, no problem, just ask. But yeah, that's just a little update. <laughs> You guys liked and uh yeah uh, hope you look forward to some further developments uh, i'm gonna make this fucker sound real cool <laughs> all right cheers guys